What's good everyone, it's the one and only Unwalk Phenom. If you guys enjoy NFL, NBA content, want to see some more gaming content soon, give us a real like. If you're new, go and subscribe to the channel while you're at it. Now let's go and let's get into this video. Listen, Russell Wilson is still MVP. There's still no discussion about it. He is number one, hands down. Do I have to discuss why? Did you not see the game in Cleveland? Did you not see him come back 20-7? I mean, for real. Everybody in the first half was like, oh, Cleveland, they stepped it up. You're a new team. They handled in Seattle. But all and behold, number three got busy on that Cleveland Browns defense. In Cleveland, by the way. He went in Cleveland and got things done. And won the game. Starting tight end, Will Disley, uh, towards Achilles. Uh, in the first half, it wasn't looking good. Um. You know, receivers dropping passes, not running the right routes, missed a few. But on and behold, Russell Wilson put on that cape with the S on his chest and he got things done. And now this and now the Seahawks are sitting five and one. MVP of the league, still haven't thrown a pick, the most efficient quarterback, and this might be one of the most efficient seasons we've probably ever seen at the quarterback position. Like, let's be real. So let's keep it pushing. Number two, CMC. Did you see the game against Tampa Bay? Did you see him? Did you see that uh, touchdown he caught where he drew three players, made five players miss on one play? CMC right now, I'm going to be real. Do I honestly think he's the best? Like, do I honestly think he's the best um, running back in the game pound for pound? No. Uh, I mean, if I had to choose a running back, would Christian McCarthy be the first running back that I choose? No. But is he having the best season by far at the running back position? Yeah, and there's no discussion. This guy, Christian McCaffrey, man, he, he's really, I know Kyle Allen, you know, people are trying to big up Kyle Allen. And I'm not gonna say, I'm not saying he's been playing bad. He actually has been playing solid. But, um, you know, this team, or this offense has been being carried by Christian McCaffrey. Um, if you look last week, he honestly didn't have a big game. 22 attempts for 31 yards. That's not really that good. Now, Tampa Bay had, has one of the best run defenses in the game. So, you know, I guess that's uh, something that they just do. But, you know, overall, Chris McCarthy didn't have a huge game. But the Panthers are still winning. He's still making big plays, right? So, um, I got to I gotta keep CMC at number two, man. He just earns it. Uh, he, he's that guy. Uh, Chris McCarthy, he, he's... Yeah, he's that dude. He's definitely that dude. Uh, number three, Deshaun Watson. I mean, look, Watson, let's just speak about the bottom three. Listen, Watson is over Mahomes. There's no discussion about it. He proved it last week. Last week was uh, the, you know, who that was going to determine who was going to be higher in this upcoming power rankings. Last week, I had Pat Mahomes at number two or number three. Had Watts at number five, they switched. I got Watts at number three, Mahomes at five. Listen, Watson had a better game. He balled out and he won the game. Point blank, period. There's no getting around it. Deshaun Watson deserves to be over uh, Patrick Mahomes in the power ranking. I mean, the MVP, uh, in the MVP rankings, man. This is what it is. Watson, uh, you know, he's not as big as a name. He's, he doesn't have, uh, you know, he's... He's not as electrifying, right, to ESPN as Patrick Mahomes. When you say Mahomes, you think of best quarterback in the game, blah, blah, blah. Big arm, big plays, 50 touchdowns, 5,000 yards. But this guy Watson is just as good. Just as good, man. Did you see the plays that he was making? I know he threw two picks. whoop de do. Still found a way how to win the game. Made that do a clutch pass to Hopkins to win the game. And this is what it is. Mahomes lost Watson win. He's rising up the MVP power rankings. Y'all can suck my dick if you guys think otherwise. Keep it pushing. Now, I got Tom Brady at number four. Uh, wasn't on my MVP power rankings last week, but let's keep it a buck. They're the only undefeated team left. And, you know, Brady hasn't done anything really exceptional. I mean, he's honestly been looking whatever. Uh, really very similar to what he was looking like last year in the regular season. But, I mean, 
They're winning games. He's a weird team. He's Tom Brady. So, damn it, I got to put some respect on his name and, you know, put him in the MVP power rankings. Uh, is he... Has he had more electrifying plays than Patrick Mahomes? No. And I know I'm going to get a lot of heat because people are going to say, well, Pat Mahomes, he's he's been balling out early in the season. You can't forget what he did early in the season, but I got to keep it a buck. The Chiefs are 4-2 on a two-game losing streak. The Patriots are 6-0. and Tom Brady, he's looking like a game manager Tom Brady. So, I mean, this is what it is. Um, but overall... Russ is the MVP, like for real. There should be no discussion. I, I like Chris McCarthy. He's been having he's been having a really good season. But there's no way you can say CMC is having a better season than Russell Wilson. There's no getting around it. There's no getting around it. And Chris McCarthy's been having a great season, but you know overall Russell Wilson is doing stuff that we will probably never see. I mean, this guy making plays out the pocket. I mean, we see Aaron Rodgers at times go out the pocket in his prime, make all type of plays. But this guy, Russell Wilson, he's running at full speed, throwing crossbody accurate uh, in the corner and hitting Ty Lockett in the end zone. I mean, it just, it just, that's what he does. He does it every single week. This is prime Russell Wilson. We are witnessing greatness. So, you know, we just need to go ahead and uh, just respect what we're seeing and just watch and enjoy the greatness that we're seeing. You see Watson, that's greatness. You see Mahomes on, you know, maybe not these past two weeks, but, you know, or, you know, Mahomes, when he's fully healthy, you see greatness. So just enjoy the greatness that's here. And all three quarterbacks I name, they are either in their prime or they're heading into their prime. Watson and Patrick Mahomes were drafted in 2017. Wilson, is he 30? I don't even know if he's 30 yet. Maybe he just hit 30. So we have like 10 more years of Russell Wilson left. So let's, let's just enjoy uh, these guys' careers, seeing these guys throw the ball, scramble, do it all. They're the best. They really are. But um, there's no doubt. Russell Wilson, the best quarterback, hasn't thrown an interception, 14 touchdowns. He, he runs the ball and he wins. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, no doubt about it. Russell Wilson's the MVP. I'd love to hear y'all thoughts. Uh, but, you know, overall, there is no matching up. Uh, this team, the Seahawks, they were not projected to be as good, uh, to start off this well this season at 5 and 1. And they're a top five team. So, we, you know, be looking out for my uh, team power rankings because that's going to be coming out soon. My spoiler alert, the Seahawks, the Seahawks will be in the top five. But um, that's it, that's all. If you guys enjoy NFL, NBA content, want to see some more gaming content soon, give us a like. If you're new, go and subscribe to the channel while you get it. I'm the phenomenal one, and I'm out. Deuces.